Hello, welcome. This is Photography Gamer and today I'm going to be looking at the beta for Ghost Recon Breakpoint which is due out next week. Um, if you haven't played Ghost Recon before, it's very stealthy. Sorry, hang on, just got to cap this dude. The gunplay in this game is really good. It's always been good. I, I had Ghost Recon Wildlands which is the, the not prequel but it's the previous version. This game, it's a military shooter and you have to basically, you, you crash land on an island. It's very much like um, Fallen Ghosts DLC in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So you, you're on an island, it's run by a tech firm. There's lots of like um, technology, drones and stuff, and some paramilitary group of um, previous special forces have taken over the island. So it's up to you to kind of restore order in a very long, prolonged way and kind of destabilize them. So that's the kind of premise. Now I have to admit the first 30 minutes I was playing this earlier I wasn't impressed. I don't know, the graphics looked rubbish and I just thought, I don't know, it just something felt wrong. Like if I'd never played Ghost Recon and that was my first impression of it definitely wouldn't have even bothered carrying on but because I played Wildlands I appreciate that it's a bit slow, slow burner approach. So what what would I say? Like first and foremost, the gunplay in all these games is really good. The guns feel good. They sound good. The aiming sensitivity is very good. Um, just pick up some goodies there from this guy. And there's a new prone camo feature, which I'll try out later. But graphically, is it better than Wildlands? Yes, but not by a massive amount. I'm sure the beta isn't representative of the final product, but I do feel like I felt like it should have looked better than this, you know, but maybe it will when it comes out, but we'll see. So let's um, let's just get into the action anyway. So what am I doing here? Mud on my face, admiring the view. Got a giant moustache going on here. Guy in the distance. Let's do a little sneak up here, line him up. We got one or two. Okay, the closest. Da -da -da. Nice. Okay, two down. Playing on like the hardest difficulty, on the, the second to hardest. Because this game's best when you play it on its hardest. Look at that. What a clean headshot. Thank you very much. It's very it's one of those realistic shooters where if you shoot someone in the head, they ain't getting up. They ain't gonna take six bullets to the head. It's not there's no bullet sponges here. It's the same for you though. If you take a lot of shots, you're going down. So a sense of realism. I think they've changed some things like um the camouflage where you can roll around in the dirt is a good ad addition. Um, your character gets more injuries, so they become quite like incapacitated if they get too injured. So that's a good feature. So we're in a kind of jungle here. I've just got a few guys here. I'm going to try and take these out. Get to that chopper. Get to the chopper. Sorry. Got to love that movie. I might watch Predator tonight. Um, So there's a few guys here, they're quite camouflaged. Let's um, take this guy down. Boom, nice. Boom. Oh, this one's running away, he's running away. Not anymore, got you, have some of that. Oh, this is interesting. What's this guy doing, is he flanking me? It's always the, hopefully they've improved the AI because the AI in the last one was you know okay sometimes but sometimes it was like what's going on here right we've made a bit of progress so where are we going we're up here what should we do I think I've got a little bad leg problem I look like I'm limping that's quite a nice feature I like the way they've done that I can hear someone I can hear someone one of these scumbags in the distance it's going they can, they, as you see on the right, they appear as red things on the map. Who are these guys? Obviously, once you get better at this game, you can turn the difficulty up. Damn, gotcha. Um, and then you don't even have a map. So then you have to play it like a real, real strategic kind of combat game. I'll try this vehicle out soon, see what it's like. The driving in the last one was terrible, but let's, let's just take this guy out. They can't really expect us to find anything but body parts. What is this guy doing? 
Not on my watch. Get out. All day long, all day long. So the vehicles in the Ghost Recon Wildlands were notoriously terrible. The helicopters were good, the planes were okay, cars and bikes, fucking horrendous. I honestly don't know how they made them that bad, so I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping they've improved. Kind of not expecting it. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty loud. Okay, this... Um... Do you know what they handle, like, fucking Outrun? Or like that motorbike, like Outrun, is that the motorbike one where it's just so old 80s arcade handling. Like once you've played Days Gone and you've rode the motorbike in that, this just feels horrendous. How have they spent the last two and a half years and they haven't even been able to make the vehicles better? Like maybe it's going to be changed in the, 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 the full game, but goodness me. The vehicles are not very good handling, I will say that, but the state of this. It's a shame. It's a shame because like how hard can it be really? Oh, what's up here? Oh no, I've been rumbled. Oh fuck them. let's just go through. Get out of here. Cool. Yeah, the, the driving just feels really on rails. It feels weird. It doesn't feel like a car. It's just, I don't know, it feels odd. I don't like the driving. I didn't like it in Wildland. I don't like it in this. And you will probably grow used to it so you just have to get get to grips with it. Helicopter time. Well, the helicopters are always the best way to travel. Um, got to watch out for like anti-air missiles, but they, they help you get around. You get a nice, nice view of the countryside. It looks a bit, I mean, it looks like the Bolivian mountains. You know, is it that different? I don't know if it's that different to the last game. The environments look pretty similar. Let's, let's um, land without dying. That would be good. I think there's some intel around here. So, like, graphically, I think the graphics are bit better than I first said. It just takes a bit of time to see them in different contexts. Like, the snow looks good. I quite like how this feels. I think maybe they'll kind of improve. So the character animations are okay. The way they run, I don't know, is that how people run with guns? It looks a bit like a Benny Hill movie, but maybe I'm wrong. This looks nice. This is look, that definitely looks better than Wildlands. Like that's definitely nicer character animation. The faces are still like not the best. What's going on there? Climb. Nice snow effects. Looks like he's trying to warm. Is he trying to warm his hands up or something? Okay. Graphically nice. Nice effects. I suppose if you roll around in the snow, you could make all your outfit white. That'd be interesting. So it looks like there's some intel down there, and there's some bad dudes as well. So let's 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 get some intel. What's that smoke? Hmm. I wonder. Well, yeah, graphic. The graphics are better. The gunplay feels the same as Wildlands. Once you've played Wildlands, I played it to death. Like my God, I played it so much. Really enjoyed it. So I'm sure I'll like this game. It's just what's different. Let's see. Um. Okay, Intel, go in a room, pick up a box, get some goodies, get some credits, get some ammo, get some intelligence. Oh, the gun. Okay. So the principles really are pretty similar to the Wildlands. You just go looking for stuff and you find them in the environment. Like, oh yeah, the drones. Let's put the drone up. Is the handling of the drones the same? Pretty much. Drones are great. You can kind of do a bit of reconnaissance, see what's coming. Okay, we've got two. Two bogeys on the hill. Right. We'll take a little slow approach up the hill. We'll crawl along the floor and then we'll like take them both down and no one will know. Yeah, one thing I'd say, if you play this beta, don't get put off by the first 20 minutes because the first 20 minutes you'll be like, what the fuck's going on? It's just a bit confusing and graphics don't look good and, and the controls are a bit weird and there's lots of screen overlays, but Give it two, three hours. Once you get into it, you get into the rhythm of it, you really start to enjoy it. Can I do a prone camo here? I can, but I don't think I need it. I'm that confident. I'm just going to roll up. Bop, bop, bop. Two guys. Probably hipsters. Definitely hipsters. They've got to go. We've got to get rid of these. 
Two hipsters. Good night. Skinny jeans not helping you now, are they? Right, that's done. Okay. Oh my god, the motorbikes. How bad are these going to be? Like, based on the car. The car was awful. We've got a gun. Okay, that's nice. Okay, what should we do? There's an enemy car? I don't know. Let's let's have a go on the motorbikes. I really, really hope these aren't bad. Nice bit of architecture there. Definitely, like, environmentally, the graphics are nice. Characters look okay. Oh, I just, this is not going to be good, is it? What the fuck is wrong with these vehicles? Like, this is hilarious. I'm not, I can't drive this shit. Fuck you, bikes. Oh, they've got to patch that. They've got to make the bikes better sound, better handling. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, the helicopters are so nice to fly. Uh, they're much better than the others. So, yeah, I'm going back to the chopper. Get to the chopper! Sorry, twice in one day. What's wrong with me? Nice. Oh, look, he's, he's like blowing some heat into his hands. That's nice. That, that gives you a sense of the atmospheric weather, whether it affects your character's stamina and fatigue, because they do get injured and hungry and stuff. Not like survival games, but yeah. Nice. Uh, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Definitely looks good. Better than the previous game. Not massively, but enough. Let's get up here. Let's survey our next move. Nice scenery, nice scenery, looks good. Okay, one of the new features is the bivouac. What the fuck is a bivouac, you ask? Well, bivouac is its kind of military terminology for let's have a bit of a rest. Let's have a rest and have a bit of a snack. Put some bandages on, make some potions, have a, have a little fold your legs, pretend we're meditating and then have a snooze. Why is it called bivouac? I don't know, maybe like there was a guy called Dave Bivouac who said, let's just have a break from fighting, have a sandwich and put a plaster on. And then they just always called it bivouacs. That's not true, by the way, I just made that up. Um, okay, I like this because, you know, the one thing about combat games is they can get a bit monotonous. So this is, I don't know what the fuck that was. That didn't look very nice. Have a snack. Looks like you can, well, what's that? 40% injury resistance, rock and roll. You can do tactics, preparations, craft. You can buy things. Okay, so you can kind of take stock on what you've done, what you've collected, your special attributes for the ranking, a sharpshooter one I am. Well, I like the sniping, so that's interesting. I think this is a good option because it gives you opportunities to have little downtimes in the mission. So if you've broken your leg or something, you're injured, you will have to recover. You will have to craft medicine or, you know, stitch yourself up or something like that so that it makes the combat feel less like an arcade game and more like there's consequences to each um, each moment you interact with an enemy if you do take damage you've got to kind of go and have a bivouac it's the least catchy name in the world but yeah I like this bivouac stuff bivouacs all round so what's this make a syringe What's this? Make a charge? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you need to collect things. Alright, what can we do now? Let's have a break camp. I guess that's have a sleep. Let's have just sleep for 16 hours because we're lazy bastards. No, no. 9.38. We're not getting up at half five. We're not milkmen. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, weather changes. Nice, now we're out. Rock and roll. So we're, we're ready to roll. Good stuff. I like that. That's a nice feature. That's a nice addition. Gives you a feeling of consequences to actions in combat and an ability to recoup yourself. So we're nearly done here. So I found this nice little smoky swamp. So I'm going to have a little wander around. What are we going to do here? I don't know. Gen overall impressions are, it, I mean, I liked the last game, so I will like this game. Will it attract new people? Possibly. Oh, what did I just do there? I didn't want to do that. Grenade. Oh dear. Yeah, so I, I'd say it looks better. The playability feels the same. They've added some mechanics like the bivouac, like um, crafting. More story elements. Yeah, I feel like 
there's improvements in all the areas. Well, hang on, what's this? What's this? Okay, I think they're friendlies. Yeah, so overall impressions are, I'm, I'm fairly happy with what I've seen. Um, obviously it's the beta, so I can't, Don't be afraid. so I can't say this is the final product, but. Any idea how to find this location? Thanks. Take it just feels like more of the same, but slightly different. And the first game I liked, they've, they've kind of gone for a new location, which is neutral because they didn't want to do it in another Bolivia because that was quite controversial. <laughs> so they've just chosen like generic island, generic white baddies, um, lots of technology. I, I hear there's lots of drones and stuff in this place, but I haven't really, well, I've encountered one, but I hid. I think there might be some around here. So, let's see if we can squeeze a, just one more bit of action out of this. Okay, I've seen a camp up in the distance, so let's um, let's check this out. Looks like some I don't know what that is a watchtower, something or other. Let's get let's get the um, the drone. Okay, we've got we've got two tangos, and we've got what is this? A bivouac. That could be a bivouac. I've just had a bivouac. I could. Only, I can't have two bivouacs in one day. That's that's just greedy. Okay, no bivouacs. All right, let's uh, stealthily let's take these guys out. Can we sniper them? Guns. The gun handling in this is fantastic. It really is. It's so the sensitivity is just perfect. What a rubbish shot that was. Down, down. Ah. Oh. We've got to change it up, get the, get the machine gun out, whatever I'm using. Take him down, down. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we've got a skill point. Why am I throwing grenades? Fucking idiot. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Got any goodies? Okay, we've got, looks like we've got some, maybe a weapon in here. Let's, uh, so like the more you play this game, I guess the more you collect, the stronger your character gets. Oh, we've got some, um, like a stab vest or a bulletproof vest. Get some intel. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's going well. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'll play this for the rest of the weekend, I think, and see how I get on. But um, initial impressions are pretty good. There's drone, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, there are drone planes in this game. Here's one. They don't look much, but I think once they see you, you can end up in the shit. So, like, last time I managed to get away. What? Oh, no. I like this, because drones are kind of impersonal, because they're just robots. So there's no, there's no like, morals. They'll just see you and gun you down, so it's like the Terminator. Oh, shit. Oh, it looks like my map's gone. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, fuck off. Oh, shit. Got one. Got one. No. Done. Done. Well, there you go. That was the game. Um, I enjoyed it. The more I played it, the more I liked it. But is it going to be for everyone? If you like combat, realism, if you like uh, military kind of techniques and stuff like that, it's definitely got all those elements. Looks a little bit better than the last game. I think online co-op would be great. So, yeah. Check out the beta. I think give it half an hour. Just the first half an hour, you're going to be, not be impressed. But after that... I think it could work. So please like, subscribe, follow the channel, click the bell, and there'll be more content coming every week. So thanks for watching. Go play the beta and do better than I did just then because I am rubbish at this game at the moment, but I'll be better soon. Thank you. Goodbye.